A big part of reviewing collections is the anticipation of what you might find when you open that door and look inside. But every once in a while, the bars reset, where the quality of the cars, the quantity of the cars, and the variety of cars is overwhelming. And that's exactly what I experienced when I walked in the door to see the Jerry Brewis collection. What is immediately obvious when I look at Jerry's collection here, what he managed to put together, is a strong desire for excellence and perfection. Clearly there's a close relationship with Chevrolet and with American Muscle, but it isn't just that, it's also the European Exotica um, is incorporated within the collection. Jerry Brewis, well known, uh, a very successful businessman, he was a U.S. Army vet. He loved sports, especially basketball, but really well known for his passion for collector cars. And that spans from the mid-1950s right up to the present day. You know, the great part about Jerry's Corvette collection is the way that he has picked important cars to him that will resonate with buyers today. As a lifelong car guy, the one single car out of this group that really resonated with me is the 1957 Chevy Corvette, it's a factory fuel injected car. Jerry as a young man bought this car brand new and has kept it all these years. In the early 1990s, had it restored, it's been shown, it's won NCRS top flight and rarely driven, but I think that this particular car shows that from an early age, literally from a teenager, Jerry decided that cars were going to be an important part of his life and Corvettes were kind of lead that charge. When an owner takes delivery of a McLaren, they are getting absolute state-of-the-art technology, brilliant design and fabulous attention to detail by the mechanics and engineers that have put the car together. It is a piece of automotive artwork, no question of that. Twin turbocharged cars, low mileage these are very very desirable cars from mclaren and again i would say that the 620r is possibly the most desirable mclaren the mclaren produced that car with all the technology from the racetrack onto the road car jerry wanted that car for that very reason it represents that the the connection between race and road technology Three of the cars that really stand out in my mind with Jerry's collection are three Shelby Cobra replicas. The first one right away is an aluminum bodied Kirkham that is polished to perfection. In fact, it looks like chrome. The second one is a very popular Backdraft series Cobra replica, but this particular one is a Roush edition. And then the final one is from the folks at Factory 5. It's the Shelby Cobra Daytona Coupe body style with a Coyote 5 liter engine and a modern six-speed manual transmission. Probably three of the finest Cobra replicas on the planet and they're all in Jerry's collection. Jerry has a wonderful 2017 Lamborghini Avantador which is allowed to be the ad personum addition from the factory. Uh, the customer can add attention to detail to in the inside and Jerry took advantage of that in a great way. Beautiful silver color on the outside with the personalization colors on the inside. V12 Lamborghini engine in the back of the car. Exquisite car in every way. Moving into another version of America's sports car of course is the Dodge Viper. Uh, there's four in the collection spanning three different generations and he starts with the 1994 and ends with the final year of Viper production 2017 and even better uh, it's one of the really cool race editions that were built in limited quantity and it's essentially as new still in the wrapper. In Jerry's collection is a wonderful Lamborghini Huracan 2018 uh, open top road subversion very desirable. Lamborghini for this car, switching from the V12 design down to a V10, still mounted in the rear, lots of performance in the car. You can see Jerry's attracted to 
the high technology of the car, but also the desirability of the Roadster, the convertible version of it. That's, that's a really nice car in the collection. And I was really glad to see that Jerry understood the significance of the original Ford GT in the 1960s. The success of racing has been told many times of those cars. And Ford says, hey, we want to we wanna honor that, 2005, 2006. They reintroduced the Ford GT to great success. Over 4,000 were built. Jerry's got two of those in pristine condition. Then we come to the current generation, the Generation 3 Ford GT, with the twin-turbo EcoBoost 3.5-liter engine that sort of reset. Uh, everything about Ford GTs, and he's got a really cool heritage edition Ford GT from the modern era. We have everything in that car. We have the racing heritage of the car. We have the connection with the paint scheme. You can see Jerry would be attracted to that, absolutely. Probably the best thing about these cars going uh, to auction to sell is the opportunity for a serious collector to have the opportunity to purchase a car that has been so thoroughly vetted out by an A-list well-known collector and then has been under his care. It's been preserved in essentially as new or even better than new condition. And that should give a lot of peace of mind to potential bidder uh, once the car hit the auction block. What the customers and the bidders are going to see is an incredible collection of very high quality, highly collectible cars, low mileage, wonderfully maintained, and cars that have that connection between racing and the road car world. I think this is a wonderful legacy, a wonderful legacy of a man that was attracted to engineering, attracted to limited edition cars, and attracted to low mileage cars that are in fabulous condition. I think Jerry can be very, very proud of everything he's put together. What a wonderful legacy the collection is.